Hey, Mike Matthews here from Muscle for Life and Legion Athletics. And in this video podcast, we are going to talk protein powders and muscle growth. Specifically, we're going to go over the three best and worst protein powders for building muscle. So let's start with a quick primer on protein powders and muscle building. Why are protein powders so popular among muscle building people, among weightlifters, powerlifters, bodybuilders, and so forth? And the reason why is mostly convenience. You see, if you want to maximize muscle growth, then you need to eat quite a bit of protein every day, somewhere around one gram per pound of body weight per day. You can go a little bit below that and be fine. And if you'll really like protein, you can go above that and be fine. But one gram per pound of body weight per day is generally a sweet spot for most people. Now you can do that with whole foods alone if you don't mind eating three to five 40-ish gram servings of whole food protein every day. However, many people like to replace some of that with powder because it is very easy. And especially before and after workouts, it's very easy to just mix some powder and some water, drink it down, go to the gym, and then mix some powder and some water, drink it down after the gym than it is to make food and eat it. That's what I do personally, and I also like to have a shake in the middle of the afternoon. So I like to eat about five to six meals per day. I know you don't have to, but I like to. And from a muscle building perspective, eating three, four, five servings of protein per day um, separated by a few hours is a bit better than just one or two servings separated by many more hours. So there's that as well. But I mostly eat that way because I enjoy it. So I eat lunch around 12 o'clock. It's usually a salad with chicken and I'm eating dinner usually around 6.30 or 7, which is usually some chicken, um, some sort of lean protein and vegetables. And I like to have some protein in between there around 3, 3.30. And it's very easy just to have a scoop of protein powder and get back to work. Now, what types of protein powders am I using and what types of protein powders are best for muscle building purposes? Well, they have to meet a few criteria. They have to taste good. They have to be relatively inexpensive. They have to be very rich in essential amino acids, and they have to be well digested and well absorbed. Now, number one on the list is whey protein, the one that everybody talks about, and rightly so, because it checks all of those boxes. It tastes pretty good. It is relatively inexpensive. It is very rich in essential amino acids, and in leucine in particular, which is the amino acid which directly stimulates muscle building, and it is well digested and well absorbed. Well, well digested for most people, unless you are lactose intolerant, in which case you can go with a, a whey isolate, which has the lactose removed moved and hopefully be okay. Some people simply just do not do well. Their stomachs do not do well with milk proteins, period. And so that's a little bit different than what than a lactose intolerance. They think they are lactose intolerant when really they are milk protein intolerant. But if it's truly a lactose issue, then you can move from a whey concentrate, which is the more common and expensive form of whey used to a whey isolate, which is a bit more expensive, but also a higher protein by weight. So the macros are a bit better and the lactose is removed. Now, whey is also kind of cool because it contains special forms of proteins that have been shown to reduce blood pressure and reduce cholesterol levels. And also due to the fact that it moves slower through your digestive tract than other forms of protein, it can result in less appetite. So it can be more filling, more satiating than other forms of protein, which is particularly nice when you are cutting. Now, in terms of specific whey protein supplements, I use and recommend my own, which is a 100% whey isolate that is naturally sweetened, naturally flavored, doesn't contain any artificial junk fillers, GMOs, MSG, or any of the other chemical stuff that is in many other protein supplements out there. And it's also kind of special because it's made from milk that comes from small dairy farms in Ireland, which are known for their high quality dairy. Research shows that Ireland produces some of the best dairy in the world. And this is something you can immediately taste and feel in your mouth when you drink it for the first time, especially if you are used to lower quality whey supplements. Mine tastes so much better and has such a creamier, nicer mouthfeel while still having basically no fat than most everything else on the market. Um, and if you want to learn more about it, go check it out at legionathletics.com forward slash whey. Okay, so the second best protein powder for building muscle is casein. Like whey, casein also comes from milk. It is a protein in milk that uh, gives it its gel forming properties. 
And if you want to test this out, put a scoop of casein in a bowl and just start stirring it with some water until you have protein pudding. Now, because of that, casein is digested slower than whey. Whey is a very rapidly digested protein, which quickly spikes amino acid levels in your blood, whereas casein is digest digested more slowly. So it's more of a sustained release over time, which is one of the reasons why I particularly like casein protein for eating before you go to bed, which can can help you build muscle faster. And if you want to learn more about that, click the link to the article down in the description below. And if you are listening, then head over to muscleforlife.com and search for protein before bed and check out the article I wrote on it. Now I'm ranking way above casein for muscle building purposes, but there's probably not that much of a difference. Some studies suggest that there's really no difference, that from a muscle building perspective, they are very comparable, while other studies show that whey probably is slightly better. So if we look at the, the, the evidence on the whole and we say, okay, sometimes casein ties whey and other times whey wins, but really casein never wins, I think it's fair to give whey the slight edge. But you can make protein pudding very easily with casein, so it does have that. I also like casein more for having before you go to bed because, again, studies show that this can increase muscle growth over time and that you want a slower digesting protein in this case because you're going to go six to eight hours without food. And what you really want is you want to have amino acids in your bloodstream for as many of those hours as possible, and casein is better for that than whey. Okay, so number three on my list of the best protein powders for building muscle is a rice pea protein blend, which is often called the vegan's whey protein because both rice and pea protein are well digested, well absorbed, rich in essential amino acids, and especially when you combine them, they produce an amino acid profile very similar to whey's. And that's why studies have shown that both rice protein and pea protein are highly effective for gaining muscle, comparable to whey over the short term, and are even better when combined. Now, I'm not a vegan, but I do have one serving of rice and pea protein every day. Around 3 p.m., 3.30, I'll have 25 to 30 grams of a rice pea blend. And the reason why I have the rice pea there instead of whey, which I have before and after my workouts, is simply because I like it. I like how the rice pea protein tastes, I like the mouthfeel, and I like how my body feels after I eat it. I get the sense that my body likes it for what it's worth. And in terms of specific products, I use my own. I have a 100% naturally sweetened and naturally flavored vegan protein called Thrive. It contains rice, protein, pea protein, quinoa protein, hemp protein, along with several several vital nutrients that vegan and vegetarian diets tend to be low in. And if you want to learn more about it, just head over to legionathletics.com slash thrive. Okay, so now let's talk about my three least favorite protein powders for muscle building. And the first one is soy protein. You're probably expecting that, and I hate to be another person to pile onto soy protein, but I really just don't recommend it for most people. And the reason is, while research does show that it's actually pretty good for muscle growth, whey protein probably beats it out over time, and especially when timing is involved. So if we're talking pre or post-workout, especially post-workout, whey is going to win. But if we look at simply the amino acid profile of soy protein and we look at the digestibility and the absorption, it's pretty good. The problem is most soy protein powders, and especially soy isolates, have large amounts of estrogen-like chemicals, natural estrogen mimickers. These are chemicals that occur uh, naturally in the plants and then make their way into the protein powders. Now, while studies show that these chemicals can be beneficial to older women, as far as guys go, if we're having small amounts of these chemicals here and there, not a big deal. But most guys that are into weightlifting are having anywhere from one to four four servings of protein per day. And I would say, just based on my experience working with a lot of people, the average guy is probably having two or three scoops of protein powder per day. If that were all soy protein, that would not be ideal. And especially because there are genetic factors in play here. Studies show that some people are affected by these chemicals more than others. And as a guy, if you want to be lean, muscular, and manly, you don't want to be artificially raising your estrogen levels. 
And that's why I just don't see a place for soy protein in a guy's diet. If you want a vegan protein powder, just go for a rice pea blend and you'll get all the muscle building benefits. In some ways, even it'll be even a little bit better in that regard without any of the potential unwanted side effects. Okay, so number two on my list of the worst protein powders for building muscle is hemp protein, simply because it's so it's just mediocre. It's middling, it's blah. Its amino acid profile is nothing special. It's not rich in branched chain amino acids, which is of course what we want for muscle building and we want leucine in particular, and it is not very rich in leucine and it, it favors amino acids that don't have any interaction with exercise whatsoever. And studies show it's also rather poorly digested and absorbed, which is of course just as important as the amino acid profile. If a protein supplement has a fantastic amino acid profile, but you can't really digest or absorb it all that well, that of course knocks it down a notch or two. Whereas uh, a protein powder with a decent amino acid profile that is very well digested and absorbed would be better for muscle building purposes. Then of course there is the worry that many people have that uh, hemp protein contains cannabinoids like THC that are gonna cause them to fail drug tests, which is not true. The hemp that is used to produce protein powder is processed to remove basically all of those chemicals, but many people don't know that. And I know that firsthand because as I mentioned earlier, my vegan protein supplement Thrive contains hemp protein. Why? mainly for mouthfeel. It actually only contains a couple grams per serving. The vast majority of the protein in it is rice and pea for the reasons already discussed. But we found that adding some hemp and some quinoa makes for a better mouthfeel. However, we have heard from so many people, so many people have written in to ask us about hemp protein and failing drug tests. And in many cases, people have chosen not to buy it because they're so worried about it that we are just going to remove it altogether. And we're probably gonna remove the quinoa as well and see if we can get the mouthfeel that we want with pure rice and pea. Okay, my third least favorite protein powder for muscle building is a twofer, and it is collagen and gelatin proteins, which are gaining popularity these days, especially collagen protein. You maybe have heard of these collagen peptide protein supplements that claim to do amazing things for your body, not just your body composition, but your hair and skin and nails and so forth. And the reason why I really do not like these protein powders for muscle building is their amino acid profiles suck for muscle building. They are not rich in the amino acids that we want for building muscle, first and foremost being branched chain amino acids. They are rich in glycine, but that is not not going to benefit our body composition whatsoever. And the primary reason why these forms of protein are being hyped up is they are cheap. The margins are really good. Whey is quite expensive, especially high quality whey, very expensive. And that the price of whey has gone up a lot over the last five years or so, whereas collagen and gelatin proteins, inexpensive. And so they're being used to spike protein powders. So some companies will have some whey protein, maybe even a whey isolate, something high quality that people have heard of and know is high quality, and then include some collagen or gelatin protein with it to bump those protein numbers up without having to spend the money it would take to get to an acceptable amount of protein per serving with pure whey. And some companies are more brazen about it. They're selling collagen uh, and gelatin protein powders as standalone products and usually uh, marketing them in a way that makes them sound special, that they're, again, they're gonna benefit your, your skin, your hair, your nails. They're gonna do things for your body that other forms of protein won't do, which is mostly fake news. It's just not true. There's no good research to back any of that stuff up. All right, well, that's it for this video. And just to quickly summarize, so your best all around choice for protein powders for building muscle is whey protein. And in terms of forms, I most prefer whey protein isolate because it is 90 plus percent protein by weight, very easy on the stomach, mixes well with water and so forth, but whey concentrate is okay as well. Now, if you don't want whey for whatever reason, or if you just wanna have something to switch off between, which is what I like to do, then go with casein or a rice pea blend. I myself prefer rice pea blend more because I just don't really like casein. I don't like the taste. I don't like the mouth feel. So I go with the rice and pea. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do share it around. Please do tell people about what I'm doing. Tell people about my YouTube channel. It really helps. And also hit that like button if you like the video. And let me know what you thought down in the comments below.
Also, if you want to make me even happier, and if you want to know when my new videos are going up, then hit the big red subscribe button over there. It is free, of course, and also hit the bell next to it, and YouTube will notify you when the next video goes live. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.